this kind of look like you in your finished position? We're a little bit off balance, a little bit shaky. Then this video is going to be the one for you today. We're going to ensure that you can commit to a full flowing swing and not compromising this fluid action by losing your balance. So what's going to be causing us to lose our balance in the golf swing? Tension is a big one, but also what we've got to look at is how we are counterbalancing this golf club. We've got a weighted club swinging around our body at 70, 80 miles an hour with a seven iron potentially. So this is gonna bring a lot of inertia with it. And we've gotta be able to overcome the inertia of this golf club, but if we can't, that's when we start to see the body start to lose its balance and that can really interfere with our sequencing, our timing and our strike as well. So if you miss striking it and losing balance, they go hand in hand. So we've gotta find a strategy to be able to overcome the inertia of this golf club so we can let this thing free wheel and swing. Think of throwing as a simple action. When we throw, the arm gets thrown off the body and away from it. And in order for us to allow this to happen, the body has to stop to let this go. And it's not just stopping, it is opposing the direction of the arm swing. My arm swings this way, I'm swinging back up and away to let this go, whilst I'd carry on going with it. And this is what you can see in the golf swing. When people start to ramp up the forces and they can't quite let this thing swing freely off the body let this club free wheel they're not going to really let the club swing this way if we're not in a balanced place to do it so we're not really able to oppose the club so it's not going to go there it's going to start working more across and towards so we're bringing the inertia towards us to take the inertia off the system so if we're not in a balanced place to oppose these forces that are acting on the body this club is essentially pulling me now so i've got to resist this pull by creating the opposing forces to counterbalance it. But if I'm not creating those forces and I'm not balanced, I'm not gonna really let the golf club go over there as I'd go with it. So what I start to do, I can't really counterbalance the club. I start to bring the club towards me and I'm using the club to balance me. And you can imagine what this might do to things like our swing direction, our path. It's gonna really slow us down. We can't really fully utilize the full effects of the golf club. So we're going to look at a little exercise that's going to allow you to fully counterbalance this club so we can let this thing go and free wheel. But we're not having to hold on to the end just to try and maintain that balance. That requires too much tension, too much effort. It's going to slow us down and we don't really want to be compromising that in our golf swing. So in order to let this golf club free wheel and release, we've got to stop because when we stop, this can go. Often, we see when balance is compromised, the body can't really stop, so it all has to go together. And that's when it starts to get slower because the body has to slow down just to keep its balance. So we're denying ourselves of that club head speed and utilizing the efficiency of our sequence as well. We can't really transfer forces that quick because they're moving too slow. So we've got to really introduce a braking force so the body can stop to counterbalance this golf club to get that freewheeling club that we know we can achieve. So we're going to use the GRF rotational discs just to highlight this point of when the body doesn't break the club can't accelerate freely and go as soon as this stops this can fire so we've got to ensure the body can apply the brakes to let that club freely accelerate and this is a great visual for you guys to see from the discs so I'm going to simulate the backswing here and from this place if the disc carry on rotating, everything's gonna go with it. And you can see my balance is already starting to get compromised. If I let the discs fire and stop, this can freewheel and travel. So you can see the body's breaking to let the club freewheel past me. And this can often be a concept, what we've been told in the past. Have we been told to face the target and do a full follow through? This is if we're not careful, we're going to imply that everything moves together and stops together. We want different parts of our body moving and stopping to transfer this energy through via the sequencing. And this is where the discs are fantastic to highlight when do the discs break to let this club accelerate. So a fantastic way to apply this braking force so we can get this freewheeling accelerating club is to use the vertical force. So we're going up. Just like throwing the ball, the body shifts across and stops so it can push and go up. So then this can go, the arm can get thrown off the body. So we're gonna be utilizing this vertical force to allow us to apply the brakes to let that club free wheel. So a great exercise for you to try to sense this vertical force 
this unload off the ground is we've got to load into the ground first so what goes down can come back up so a little exercise you're going to do this with your lead arm on the club we're going to swing it behind the body on the way back then from there we're going to take a little step with the left foot that step is going to allow us to naturally load into the ground let that body weight drop so then from there i can then spring up and it's the up that creates the snap so the up is going to really accelerate the club freely past me. So you're going to swing it behind you, take a step into the ground, spring up, and it's the springing up that's going to throw that golf club off the body. And this is where you can play around with the timing of when you get the step. You're going to swish it behind you, get the early load into the ground, then I can spring up off the ground to use that vertical. It's the vertical that's going to throw that golf club and let it freewheel past the body. So we're not rotating with it and over rotating that's going to take me into that unbalanced finish again where the body's not applied the brakes so the club can't really truly accelerate to its full effect it can't truly accelerate to its maximum speed so really start to get a sense for using this natural loading and unloading to apply the brakes to let that club accelerate and you can see there's a natural spring off the ground and that spring is what's creating that swish of the club head. So a nice simple exercise for you to try at home to really sense this braking force so the body can oppose the club, let this free wheel and ultimately keep your balance to achieve better speed, better strikes and a more free flowing golf swing. Now you've got a sense for how we can utilize the ground to give that unload to get this free wheeling golf club. Play a few shots so you can enjoy this new balanced golf swing. It's gonna give us the strike transfer that speed and more efficiency from your golf swing. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos.